I'm Chef Jeff Trombetta, Hospitality Management, University of New Haven, Connecticut. And today I am going to show you a broccoli and onion quiche. Very standard. I am going to put in uh, broccoli, sauteed onions. They're sauteing right now. I could hear them. And um, we're going to take a different take on the cheese. Everybody's used to cheddar, Monterey Jack. Um, I have some nice fresh mozzarella. I think it make a great quiche. We have a 3-2-1 pie dough. Uh-oh, what's that? 3-2-1 pie dough. Three parts flour, two parts butter, one part water. Don't let it get too soft and not too hard. And I like to roll it out between plastic wrap. If it starts to stick, I add a little flour. Trick to rolling is roll one way. And let's give it a little bit of flour. I'm not going to have plastic on the top. Make a circle. Roll one way. Because if you roll two ways, it's going to get tough. But there's a lot of shortening in here, or butter, really. I'll try to make it look as easy as possible. Always have extra dough. This step I'm doing right now is extremely important because you want this dough to relax. Let it fall down into the pie dish. And work relatively quick because especially if you're in a hot kitchen, the dough gets soft fast. So let it fall down there. Push it up. Then I cut it with my thumb. Give it some edge. It's going to hold in more custard, more filling. See how I'm pushing the dough in to make a high wall. Now if you don't have enough, like over here, give yourself some. But don't make the mistake of letting the crust hang over the edge. Because what happens is it's going to bake around the dish and it's going to be stuck. Your quiche your crust is going to stick to the pan, or the dish in this case, and it's going to break. So I'm going to take my uh, onions and I'm going to put them in the bottom of my pie dough. Spread them around. Now take my broccoli and have it pretty hearty. Now if you're making a lot of them, you could add your broccoli and onions to the custard mixture. Custard mixture is eggs and uh, milk cream or half and half or any combination of. The broccoli, please pre-blanch it. This is blanched broccoli. That means it's pre-cooked. All I did was steam it or boil it, whatever you prefer. A little bit of salt, a little bit of cracked black pepper. Let's get some mozzarella in here. This is some fresh sliced mozzarella. It's not that salty, nice and creamy. It's really no such thing as a quiche without cheese. Get a little bit more cheese in there. We're going to do a two egg. And in this particular case, it might even be equal parts of egg and cream. I'm going to use half and half. It doesn't matter if the ratio of eggs to cream is a little bit more cream than eggs. And the question becomes, do I have enough custard to basically cover my broccoli? Custards and nutmeg is just one of those things that just really go along. Just a little bit, not too much. Get a little bit of pepper. We're going to pour in our custard. I have nice high quiche walls. That's about as risky as you want to get. There you go. I'm going to put this in a 400 degree oven. It's probably going to take a good 40 minutes. Here's the broccoli and cheese and onion quiche. The crust has got good color. You can tell it's done. This is how you tell if um, quiche is done. It's set because it's firm. It's not liquid. So this is done real nice. It needs to set so it would cut well. Broccoli, onion, quiche made a little bit different because we use mozzarella cheese, fabulous tender buttery pie crust, and I'm Jeff Trombetta, Hospitality Management, University of New Haven, Connecticut, and I wish you happy quiche.